Hey everybody, Mr. Kazman123 here, here with a review for you guys of some fake Beats by Dr. Dre Studios. Now uh, what I think kind of sets these headphones apart from the rest of the fake Beats is their price. I picked these up for around $40 from eBay, which I think is a good deal for what you get. Um, I don't really believe in spending like $400, $500 for the actual thing, so I wanted to get some fakes. And 100 bucks for headphones, still I didn't want to pay that. So I found these, and they're not as good as like the top of the line $100 fakes, but they're pretty good. So let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, the box, I believe this sleeve is in fact either a real sleeve or a fake sleeve. Let's slide this out. It is not a solo, or excuse me, <laughs> solo HD, studio HD case sleeve. It is, I think, the first generation non HD so this black looks a little different with the kind of breakdown of the headphone right there Dr. J's picture so then this is much different to the reels and the nicer fakes this on the reels it opens up and you have all this nice padding and manuals over here this just came with the headphones and the cable and no case or anything so the first thing you get is this cable. This cable is not very good. Uh, it's quite bad actually. I've had some interference issues. Uh, headphones, I'll plug them in, the headphones don't work um, when that is not the case on other headphones or other cables I use with these headphones. So if you're gonna get these then you pretty much don't aren't getting much with this cable, so throw that off to the side. And then the headphones themselves come wrapped in this sort of plastic stuff. I'll come back to those. If you lift out the bottom you get this little note from the China people. <laughs> kind of funny they use a translator. So. Now the main attraction, the headphones themselves. So they do. So the headphones do fold just like the real studios do. Now, this hinge is plastic. It does look metallic, but it is plastic. And, and you know, it's not terrible, but I'm just not expecting it to last very long. So, you know, plastic versus metal, metal is gonna win, so. Also the adjustment system, it's very cheap, very nasty feeling. So what I would do is I would get these, find your adjustment, and then try to adjust them as little as possible because it's just, ugh, oof, just, they don't adjust very smoothly. So you have all your Beats branding, you know, the cup swivel, monster logo, they say Beats by Dre on the band. Um, does not say studio on the inside. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, so, build quality is meh, but as far as the likeness of the real the real deal, they look pretty darn close. Cause I had these sitting up on a up on a shelf, and from a distance they looked real. And I mean they look real close up too. Just those little slight differences that people might look for. So. Just keep that in mind. Um, now, on the actual pads themselves, I want to say these pads suck. They are seriously like I, I can't wear these headphones for more than two hours without having to take them off or switch to another pair. So uh, I would really recommend you get them repadded if you decide to get these. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, so now the most important part of the review is the sound quality. And at the end of the day, these sound pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, for forty dollars, whatever you pay, it is. I think it's good sound. The bass is nice and pronounced. Um, you know, the the mids and the highs are not great, but I mean that's such as the real beats. They don't have the best highs or mids either. Um, <clears throat> bass is pretty thumping. I'm not gonna lie. So. 
I would definitely recommend you get these if you're looking for a kind of a 50 50 to 60 dollar sound quality and a 40 dollar pair of headphones that look like the real deal I would really recommend these if you're looking for top-notch studio quality then don't waste your time just go buy the real ones if you have that much money so um, I would compare these very much to the Skull Candy Hesh and these are fifty dollar headphones um, if you want a review on these, these are the Kobe series, I am a Laker fan uh, if you want a comparison between these or a review on the Hesh then please let me know down in the comments uh, throw me some likes, I really need likes on this channel <laughs> and uh, please subscribe if you like this video it really helps me out and I can get some more money and I'll hopefully buy more fake beats to review or even more expensive headphones like some school candy aviators or something so uh... so yeah if you could subscribe and like it helped me out a bunch so thank you for watching i uh, hope this helped you uh... this is one of the first videos as far as i know about this particular pair so oh hey, one more quick thing uh... when these flex it does have the same problem the real ones do where this kinda kinda extends so, something to keep in mind, and there is no padding on the headband. So, I should have made that part of the actual video. So, alright, uh, this is getting pretty long. So, I will hopefully have a video up soon. So, see you later.